Hello everyone! Good morning! Good afternoon! Or even good evening! Hello, hello sa inyong lahat guys! Oh, bago ang lahat sa ating mga subscribers! Ah, kamusta sa inyo ang aking mga supporters? Guys, please don't forget to subscribe and like and watch the video of Mel's Cuisine guys so that uh, ang Mel's, Cuis Mel's Cuisine will give you always a smile. Okay guys, so today I am going to do some cooking. The most requested food of my younger daughter who is going to have a birthday today but I'm going to prepare only a simple food. Guys, so first I have my chicken here. I marinated this already before two hours ago. So here is my chicken, uh, chicken legs. I open it and then uh, I marinated with salt, pepper, uh, soy sauce and uh, one tablespoon of oyster sauce and then of course a little bit of garlic powder. So I marinated that and with the uh, half uh, slices of lemon. So I marinated that uh, one hour or two hours before kasi para naman ay mag-absorb na yung aking uh, yung mga spices sa aking chicken. Of course guys, meron akong itlog. Yeah. And then my flour tayo. Ayan. So that is ready now. Uh, I have my oil here which is already almost ready. It's warm already. So, first I have to add a little bit of salt to my egg. Ayan guys. Salt and pepper guys. So, just maybe one four teaspoon of salt. And then, uh, black pepper. Here's guys. Ayan. And of course, yung ating flour also lagyan din natin ng salt. And then, uh, pepper. Para magkaroon naman ng taste yung ating flour. Ayan, guys. Yeah. I will add salt also. Ayan. And then, haluin natin para maghalo uh, yung salt and pepper sa ating powder. Ayan, guys. And of course, yung egg natin, ihaluin din natin guys. Ayan. I-mix ko na. And of course, ito ang aking chicken guys. Ready, ready na yan. Okay. My oil is ready, so I have to start now to my fried chicken. So, first, i-dip ko muna yung aking chicken sa uh, itlog. Ayan, guys. And then, dito sa ating flour. Ayan, guys. Kailangan i-coat natin ng maigi. Ayan. So, ibalik natin sa itlog. Ayan, guys. It will be very crispy. Ayan, guys. So, ready na? Okay. So, the same, the same system, guys. <coughs> so, we can keep go on like this. And the result will be delicious. Okay, guys. My fried chicken is almost finished now. Okay, so as you can see now, it's almost finished. So here it is, the last part. And I will close my fire so that uh, it's not so hot. What up, guys? Look. It's a <laughs> melt squeeze and fried chicken. And I cannot compare the fried chicken of melt squeezing to the other signatures fried chicken okay guys so here is my chicken and um, here is the other one so i will put this on the plate and i will show you later guys okay guys hello 
Proceed na naman tayo guys sa ating second uh, preparation. Gagawa ako ng uh, pancit canton. This is the favorite also of that of my little girl. Okay. Of course guys, mayroon akong uh, carrots, mayroon akong chicken, garlic, onion, and shrimps. At mayroon pa ako na Chinese pizza na gulay ko. At of course, ito yung aking pancit canton guys. Ayan. Here is my vegetables guys. So ngayon guys, supply ko muna yung aking mga ingredients or sahog ng aking pancit canton. So, ulahan natin ng ating uh, garlic. And then, and then, onion of course. Pagita lang natin ng slowly. Para hindi madaling masuno guys. Ayan. Okay. Then, isunod natin ang ating chicken guys. Ayan. Sunahin natin ang ating chicken para maluto siya. Ayan guys. Isa-isahin lang natin. Dahan-dahan lang. At yung apoy naman ay nasa moderate lang yung apoy natin. Ayan. Para hindi madaling masunog yung ating ah, uh, bawang at saka onion. Ayan, guys. So, ngayon, guys, isunod na natin ang ating tarot. Ayan. Okay, pahuli muna natin yung ating shrimps kasi madali lang maloto. So, ulahin muna natin ang ating tarot, guys. So ngayon lagyan natin ng kaunting paper muna. Huwag natin lagyan ng asin kasi gagamitan natin ng soy sauce. So para mamaya na lang dagdagan ng asin kung halimbawa na pinakailangan. So ang lagay ko lang muna is uh, paper, fresh paper. Guys. Mm. So, ito ito ay lang natin ang panloto ito, guys. Tuloy lang. Ayun. So, ito, guys. Ito na yung aking ah uh, sahog. So, kukunin muna natin ito. At i-separate kasi lulutuin muna natin yung ating Canton. So guys, ilagay ko muna dito. Green pa siya guys. Very green. Ayan. So dito na siya guys. Oh. Magandang combination. Nice color. Ayan. Ayan guys. So ngayon, dagdagan natin ng tubig yung ating frying pan para sa ating uh, pancet canton. Balilagyan ko siya guys ng 2 cups kasi yung canton natin ay nag-absorb ng tubig. Ayan. At dagdagan din natin ng soy sauce. a little bit of garlic powder. And pepper powder. Uh, pepper powder. Then guys, pakuloyin natin. 
Ayan, ilagay yung ating kanton. Ayan. Okay, ito guys. Ilalagay ko na yung ating kanton para naluto siya. Uh, kung kulo na yung tubig, kasi ang nilagay yung tubig ay mainit. Para madali maluto. So, ilagay na natin guys. Kasi kumukulo na yung tubig ko. So, pabayaan ko lang muna siya ng ganun guys. Kasi pag uh, hinalo ko siya, matanda po tol po tol siya. Kaya ang teknik ko dyan ay lagyan ko muna ng takip at hinaan yung apoy para hanggang uh, habang uh, nagamwash siya doon ay maglambot siya at hindi mapuputol. Okay guys, so that is my technique how to cook my pancit canton na hindi magkaputol-putol. Okay guys, uh, so guys, bubuksan ko na. Malambot na siya, oh. Ayan. So, hindi na siya basta-basta na maputol. Ayan. So, pwede ko siyang balit pa rin. Ayan. May nagugutom na dito, guys, sa akin niloloto. Ayan, oh. Nakaupo, oh. Ayan, oh. Yun. Naghihintay ng pagkain. So ngayon guys, ibalik ko na yung aking vegetables. Ayan. So, ready, almost ready na yung aking pansip canton. Ayan guys. Lakasan ko ng apoy para madaling mag-absorb yung aking tubig sa pancet canton. Maya ko na siyang haluin ng maigi, guys. So, ito guys, yung aking pancet. Ayan. Natutuyuan na siya, o. Oh. Ayan. Ayan, guys. Ready na. Almost ready na ito, guys. Tingnan natin kung luto na yung aking noodles. Yes. Mm. Tama-tama lang, guys. So, medyo kulang pa, guys, yung kanyang asin. Dadagdagan ko ng soy sauce. Ubusin ko na lang, guys, yung soy sauce ko. Ayan. sa in good condition na guys. Ready to eat na. Mm. So, medyo kaunti lang ang oil niya. Dadagdagan ko ng kaunting oil. At yung gagamitin kong oil ay yung aking light oil or normal oil na less ang kanyang sugar. Maganda naman kung medyo a little bit sliding. Medyo, parang mayroong paunting uh, oil naman. Kasi very limited yung nilalagay kong oil. So, yan. Ready na siya guys. Ready to eat. So, Mamaya pa, ipapakita ko sa inyo ang lahat. Ayan guys, ang aking pansit canton. So, okay guys. So, ang susunod ko na naman ngayong lulutuin ay yung aking dessert. Ito guys ay dessert native na my favorite dessert when I was still 10 eight years. And I love to do this always. And it's very really easy. So, here is my ingredients, guys. I have this uh, two kinds of flour. This is a rice flour. And this is the glutinous rice. Rice flour, guys. Glutinous rice flour. So, I will use the, both of them. Because if it is only glutinous, then it's a very sticky. So, I will mix them together. 
and I have coconut milk of course and you know guys I have my bukayo came from the Philippines bukayo, so that I can do some dessert sometimes that I really love so here is guys okay so first I have to combine this half in half half of the glutinous rice and half of the rice powder so they are half on half oh sorry oh, i am having a shower with my flowers okay so i will combine the two of them yeah so i will mix them so that they will be even yeah and guys I put some coconut milk but unti unti ko lang guys na ilagay kasi baka masubrahan na very soft siya maraming tubig so unti unti lang ah, hindi nga it's not enough guys because this is already the total of this flour is already 1 kilo so oh Ayan. So, okay guys. Since nakulang ang aking coconut, dadagdagan ko siya. Kasi, dadagdagan ko rin ang coconut milk. Ayan guys. Para masarap siya guys. shoot ito guys oh. so hindi ko na lang muna ito gagamitin ayan so ito muna ang gamitin natin para ma-mix sya ng maigi ayan, i-mix natin ng maigi ayan guys mm. so I think it's it is a good one yeah medyo over naman Medyo nasobrahan. So, ngayon nasobrahan siya. Dadagdagan natin ng kaunting flour dito. Kasi nasobrahan naman siya ng coconut milk. Kasi pag masyado namang loss siya, hindi natin ma-form. So, kailangan ano ka natin? Dagdagan. Ayan siya. Ayan guys. Oh. So, haloon na ito ng maigi para maging even, walang bilog-bilog. Ayan. Medyo magsa pa. Dagdagan natin ulit ng another uh, rice flour. Okay. Ayan. Kasi pag... Mas maganda kung exact talaga ang kanyang pag uh, yung pagkabasa niya. Then maganda ang pag-form. Ayun guys. So okay na siya. Ayun guys. So ngayon kakamayin na natin guys. Ito ay kakamayin ko na guys siya. At gawin ko muna siyang balls. Ganito oh. But para hindi mag hindi magdikit sa ating wooden ano. Wooden chop board. Lagyan natin ng kaunting oil para hindi siya magdikit. So, ayan guys. Dito ko siya ilagay para makita ninyo. Ayan. Ibilubin ko muna siya guys para isang laglagayan ko lang dyan sa aking steamer ko siya guys. Steam ko siya.
hello hello sa lahat dyan so guys marami na siya mas maganda naman yung malaki laki guys So, ito yung aking steamer, guys. Ayan. Ilalagay ko siya dito. <laughs> Lagyan natin ng oil para hindi siya mag-stick. Ayan, guys. So. Ngayon, lagyan ko siya ng buho. Ito, guys. So. Ayan. Okay. Nakapakita ko sa inyo guys kung paano ko siya nilagay. Na may crown siyang buho. Mm. Ito guys. Oh. Lagyan ko siya ng buho para mamaya lagyan ko ng feeling. Pag naloto na siya, lagyan ko siya ng feeling na uh, bukayo. Ayan. So, ito guys, lagyan ko na ng feeling yung aking ginawa. Ito. Ayan. So, ito na siya guys. So, ayan. Ngayon, eh, stem ko na siya. Ayan guys, yung topic ko ready na. Oh. Kumukulo. Okay. So, i-steam ko siya nito ng 10 to 15 minutes. Ayan, guys. So, it's ready. And we have to wait the result after. And I am sure it is very yummy. Okay, guys. So, ito yung aking uh, dessert. Kukunin ko muna dito sa aking Uh, steamer. Ayan guys. Oh, chokat. Mm. So, ito na siya guys. Ready na o. Oh. Yeah. So, ilipat ko siya sa pinggan. Ayan guys. May tagakain na ng aking niloto. Wala pa yung celebrant. May kumakain na o. Oh. Tingnan niya o. Hindi makapaghintay. So, ito guys, oh. Kunin natin. Oops. Ayan guys, oh. Okay. So, ilagay natin para yung isa naman ay mailoto ko. Mas easy ngayon guys, magloto ng ganito. Kasi pwede mo li iloto sa, sa, sa steamer. Unlike before nung uh, kabataan ko pa, 10 years, niloloto ko sa tubig bago ko lagyan ng uh, bukhayo. Kasi siyempre, walang steamer noon. Kaya pinapakulo ko yung tubig, lutoin ko in a few minutes lang. And then kunin ko, i-dry ko bago ko lagyan ng bukhayo. But ito, pwede ko naman ilagay yung bukhayo ko kasi... Para mag-init naman. Ayan guys, oh. Ayan. So, oh. So, ito na kasi siya guys, oh. But, hindi pa kumpleto kasi hindi pa na loto yung isa. So, ito, eh. Ilalagay ko na. Ginawa ko na siya guys. 
para ready na ako maglagay sa aking, ayan o, oh. ayan, inilagay ko na dito, in-prepare ko siya ng earlier, ayan, Hi guys. Hi. So the, here is my finished product. That is my fried chicken, and that is my pancit canton. So and here is my dessert. It's very yummy. Ayan guys. So yummy, yummy talaga. So come and join with us, everyone. Ooh. And guys. Let's have and share with this. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag-watch ninyo ng aking video. Please subscribe, share, and uh, watch my videos, guys. Because we need that and then we can help to other people also. Okay, so thank you so much, guys, and thank you for watching. Ingat kayo dyan. Bye-bye.